Hey, what's going on guys? Travis Patel here. Thank you for joining me today. In this video of the Like a Boss Facebook training, I'm going to show you how to install the Facebook Pixel in websites using WordPress or if you're using a third party uh, page creator like ClickFunnels or Lead Pages, there's options in there as well. Now, first off, what we need to do is we need to head into our ads dashboard into the Pixel section and you'll need to grab that Pixel code. So we're gonna go in here, you can do view pixel or even edit pixel, but we're gonna go, if you haven't created a master pixel yet, as soon as you get into your Facebook dashboard, um, you'll create a brand new pixel, which is for the entire store. And the information here is what we need to grab. All right, so we need to go to view pixel code. Now the top code here is what we need to enter into our pages that we want to track those views and those visits. Now as the bottom here, there's all types of conversion data that you can add in. So if you wanna know when someone visits a page, you wanna know when someone adds your product to cart, you wanna know when someone purchases your product or becomes a, an email lead, for example, these are the types of information that you want to add into the code on those specific pages. Now we're not gonna get into that right now. We're gonna keep just a basic kind of Facebook tracking system in place. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna copy this entire code and this is what we want to enter on each of our pages. So for WordPress, it will depend on the theme you're using and the style of setup, but there's plenty of plugins out there that you can have uh, be able to add this code in. Now, the Facebook code needs to be added in between the head tags on your HTML. And that's what I'm saying, if you have a WordPress site and it doesn't have it in the theme options already, then go ahead and look for a plugin where you can easily add in scripts to your head tag of the HTML. Most themes I believe today will have this function available for you. So I'm using the Avada theme and I'm gonna go ahead and just head into the theme options to show you an example with this theme. All right, so here we go. In the advanced section, you can see the code fields under tracking, and we have certain sections where there's a tracking code. This is anything that you want to have enter into the header tag, and then if you have any codes or JavaScript stuff that you want in the body tag, you can add here. So here's our Facebook pixel. You can already see I added it in, and this is pretty much tracking people who have visited the Kingpinning site all across the board. Every page that is on Kingpinning will have this code in there. Now, like I said, we could add the different events that happen here if we have a um, you know, page view is just people landing on the page, but if we want it to be where it shows us a conversion, a purchase conversion, for example, we would add this code, exact code, onto the um, thank you page or whatever the confirmation step is of your purchase uh, system, and it would include, instead of just page view, it would include that purchase event that we want to track as well. So like I said, it's a little more advanced. If you're not into the code, you don't understand part, look for a developer to help you out. In this case, we're just gonna keep it very simple. So we added this basic Facebook code into the header of each page. Um, now we wanna make sure that we also have it on those pages that are maybe not on our WordPress theme. If we have a third party where we're using, I use ClickFunnels, for example, to create squeeze pages and email leads. Um, we wanna make sure our code's set up on there and then also on the you know, confirmation thank you pages so that we know when leads are going off. So in ClickFunnels here, we have an example squeeze page set up where this is just a uh, webinar registration looks like, but each page has these same settings. We'll hop in. So in the edit page here, we see in the settings, we can go into the tracking code section here and in the header custom tracking, you'll want to add your Facebook pixel. As you can see, I already added it there. Now, as you're going along, like I said, you may want to also track when people have converted. So when people sign up to this email list, we have a confirmation page. So when people land on this page, we would add that code in here as well, but we would include that event data saying this is when a lead has converted. So that way Facebook can track exactly you know, the numbers of your sending and things like that. Once again, that's a little bit more advanced stuff that you don't have to worry about starting off. But for now, we wanna make sure that our Facebook pixel code is in there so that we're at least tracking the amount of views coming through. We can use third party, you know, ClickFunnels tracks the viewers that show up and convert anyway so we can kind of see those numbers. But we definitely want those events in there at the, uh, in the end. 
All right, so that is it. That's as far as uh, you need to go as far to install the Facebook Pixel on your website. If you haven't seen how to do it with a Shopify or e-commerce setup, then check out that video as well. So thanks, guys. My name is Travis Patel. Have a good one.